the divinity and sovereignty of humanity will be understood in the time ahead and currently, a plethora of awakening souls upon the surface of your dear earth are already beginning to find and discover their own personal divinity and the miraculous things they can do. Every one of you carries the pure power of the Creator in your hearts, and what we mean is that you possess a raw higher dimensional strength and ability to do and manifest so very much that for the most part, you've been led to believe you are unable to do or manifest. Your abilities are truly unlimited, and we have always wished for you dear souls to know this. We have taken incarnations on your dear earth for the very purpose of helping you to uncover, discover and experience you natural divinity and now, a plethora of souls are incarnate upon your world who will go down in your history books, just as we did, as souls who incarnated to help initiate the widespread awakening taking place. You can all be instrumental. Every one of you can be instrumental in helping the collective of Earth to awaken, it simply takes the fortitude and balance in oneself that will see one able to act as a shining example for all those around them to benefit from. You will be helping the rest of your collective to understand the higher realms and the mechanisms that drive a higher dimensional experience in the time ahead and for now, we ask you to continue on as diligently as you always have in performing your everyday tasks and duties, as you know it all to be for the higher good. Your intentions in every moment will determine where you are heading as a collective and as individuals, and when your actions and intents are in line with the divinity you have come to the earth to forget and eventually rediscover, you will find your everyday experiences on the earth becoming much, much easier for indeed, you will have stopped fighting against the current of personal change, and your doing so will have greatly helped the collective to no longer fight against the widespread change that is to be introduced. Of course, much of your collective has been unaware of the change needing to take place in your society, and this very unawareness and complacency has stopped a positive future from being able to be enacted until now. We were with you in Atlantis. There have been incarnate masters in nearly every time period of your earthly history, and we were all with you in the times of Atlantis and Lemuria. They were wonderful times indeed, as the Earth was able to host not just the presence of a myriad of galactic and angelic beings who came to live in the colonies of Atlantis and Lemuria with you, but we masters as well. We and so many others were with every one of you who experienced Atlantis, and those of you who didn't have come to the Earth as a partial result of the unfortunate destruction that took place in the final days of Atlantis and Lemuria. As many of you dear souls know, the souls that were the Lemurians have went underground to the fruitful ascended realms of your inner earth, and have been watching and assisting you along your planned evolution ever since the demise of the two colonies. You can make your attempts to communicate with the Lemurian souls whom many of you knew in the previous encounters you had with them during those times as these souls are brimming with excitement to be able to speak with humanity again and we, like you, are just as excited for your reunion to take place. So very much has been done in an attempt to get you to forget about your sacred past and the sacred future you are heading into, and the unconsciousness of humanity will be permanently broken when the revelations begin to surface concerning the existence of your galactic brethren, concerning our existence and a plethora of other things that are to make many souls' heads spin prepare for the revelations. As we have in the past and as others have, we ask even you dear awakening souls to prepare yourselves for the revelations that will be forthcoming because truly, so very much has happened that you haven't been told and we highly anticipate humanity being able to understand just what has been wrought unto you in the time ahead. You have grown up in purposely hollow and conditioned societies that have been meant to take your awareness away from anything of the higher dimensions as you have been led to believe that your physical reality is the only existence there is and this paradigm is to be more than broken in a plethora of earth souls, when faced with the initial disclosure announcements. We ask you to continue to remain diligent in spreading and bringing truth to the forefront of the collective perception and as has been said in the past, your work is only beginning. We mean this for the world stage and for the personal paths of each one of you. The ascension energies leading you onward toward the purer states of consciousness of the higher realms are only to continue increasing in purity and intensity, and the resulting difficulty you experience in your lives can be turned up if you do not allow, your earth experience, to simply be rather than fighting against it. Fighting against the current of change has proven pointless for the cabal heads who increasingly see that a clear, blatant and positive change is unavoidable 
and many of you are as well beginning to see that the current of change cannot be ignored and that aligning oneself with this change and remaining in a neutral place will help you exponentially along a process that can test you and bring you far, far away from your necessary center if you allow it to. Logos links all souls. You have so very much to learn about yourselves and about the world around you, and one of the initial revelations you will be given concerning your planet will be the network of energy, which we have been labeling love or logos, that exists all around your planet and that every soul is interlinked within. You are united with every facet of consciousness around you, and we are not simply delivering pretty words when we say this, dear souls. Quite the opposite when we say such things we are attempting to activate a knowledge, a memory and understanding within your hearts, which will itself help to spark a full awakening and enlightenment to the fact that you are interlinked with every conscious being around you. Consciousness is not limited to humans, animals or plants, dear souls. Consciousness is truly everything, and the very conscious energy of love makes up your entire reality. Humanity has defined spirituality on your world for so very long as an embrace of something different from the physical paradigm of existence but truly, everything is spirit. Indeed, to claim one to be spirit is quite a given in the higher realms, and this is, meant to be, so with every facet of consciousness around you as well. Every being around you, be them inanimate or not, is experiencing consciousness and the resulting spirituality because dear souls, Consciousness is spirituality. The sooner humanity can realize that your very consciousness and your very perception of the reality around you naturally breeds a spirituality that is unparalleled, the sooner a plethora of souls can turn away from looking toward external or physical sources to bring them happiness or fulfillment. Meeting Pure Perceptions Truly, your cup runneth over with blatant spiritual energy that you can absorb and feel in yourselves and when a soul initially becomes open to the reality and existence of this wonderful and harmonious energy, a process begins that entails them meeting their own perceptions of this energy and of their own latent spirituality, in purer and bolder ways. Indeed, some of you may look back and discover that you were indeed interested in the same concepts and belief systems just a few years ago in your fading concept of time and since then, your perceptions of such things have grown sharper and purer and this is because many of you have for quite a while, been well along your processes of realizing and understanding the divinity that is truly all around you in every moment. This divinity is here to stay and it is ready to be recognized by the awakening humanity, and we trust that you dear souls will be able to recognize and pick up on your own latent divinity in any moment you feel as if the higher realms or we souls within the higher realms have somehow abandoned you or are not with you. Indeed, we are always with you and we have wanted you to know this during your times of despair or loneliness. Loneliness is a fading aspect of the illusory reality around you, as to be separated from anything is to be separated from oneself, from one's eternal, godly essence. You are always connected with the higher realms and with a plethora of higher dimensional souls accompanying these realms and specifically, you can always connect with your higher selves and with our Mother Father Creator if you feel you are in need of assistance or love. Infinite options in the spiritual hierarchy. You can also connect with the myriad of other souls in the higher realms, some of whom have taken the God positions and some of whom have taken the galactic positions, and others, which there are indeed differences between. Let us explain, dear souls. Upon evolving into a certain higher dimensional perspective, a soul can choose to play the role of a god in the spiritual hierarchy, which entails creating more distorted realms for souls experiencing their growth in such realms to undergo and come out of as shining divine souls themselves, and many gods have in fact inhabited the planets and the lower realms they help to create. Souls who grow into the fifth dimension from their various lower dimensional planets have a plethora of different options after doing so, from joining the Galactic Federation or other similar organizations, to excelling further along their evolution in a different manner, and so very much more. Your options are truly unlimited once reaching the higher dimensions, and you will find your opportunity for soul growth just as unlimited. You are loved, supported, and consistently guided. The growth of the soul has taken place at varying speeds for each one of you, but every one of you are learning to tap into the natural God-given abilities you have always possessed within and as we make our final impressions for this communication, we ask you to allow the ascended perspectives you are beginning to find to settle upon you, 
especially if you feel as if events in your personal lives are not moving along fast enough or again, if you feel you have been left alone. Truly, you are never left alone and we have always wished for you to know this. You are loved, supported and consistently guided by we in the higher realms, and your sacred evolution is proceeding at a greater pace than could have ever been expected. The more interest you show in your personal ascension processes, the more progress you will make upon them and as we temporarily exit this line of communication, we remind you that you are more powerful than many of you have given yourselves credit for. Understand and feel this, dear souls, for it will become more than apparent very soon. Thank you to the Ascended Masters, 